Hello everyone. Now I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, and um, in fact, I didn't really sleep at all. I had a bit of a nap this morning and I've woken up and I just thought, you know what? I'm sick of seeing this hyperpigmentation. Yes, it's getting better, but I'm sick of seeing it. I'm not in the mood to spend hours putting concealer on and trying to do fancy things. So I thought, you know what? I dug out the solution that I used to use before I started my makeup channel. This is going to be a really, really quick video today. Now, I couldn't find the brush that I used to use to do with it, but I found another one which is densely packed. And so I'm gonna just show you what I do and it's going to be very, very quick. And then I'll tell you what I used. and the same product. Gone. Yes, it's full coverage, but this is what I used to use before, and this is Estee Lauder Maximum Coverage. Charlotte Tilbury used to use this before she started her makeup company as a concealer, but it's actually a foundation, maximum cover. I'm going to do it up, but also then what you can do is add the double wear powder foundation over the top and before you know it you're looking completely flawless with no messing about okay just wanted to add why i got this first of all by the way i have bought a new one since i started my channel i haven't dug it out from years ago um but secondly i just to say that the reason that i got this years before I started my channel was because of my hyperpigmentation and it is a foundation that is recommended by dermatologists for people that have got hyperpigmentation but also have got things like very severe um, facial marks like um, birthmarks things like that because it is such a good coverage foundation. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm obviously looking a bit matte and flat because it's very full coverage foundation. And I'm now, this. I didn't used to do this, but I'm going to do it to give me a bit of glow back. I'm going to use the three Studio 10 products. One is a highlighter, one is a blush, and one is a bronzer. And I'm gonna use that to give me a bit of glow back. First a bronzer, sorry we've got windows open and the doors keep slamming upstairs. Yes, I'm contouring my nose and I'm contouring my eyes as well. This is a real no fuss um, look today.
then the blush it's a lovely peachy shade see which is also good for pigmentation in terms of colour correcting. Yes, I'm putting the blush on my eyes as well, outside corner of the mobile lid. So I put the bronzer in the crease, I'm putting that on the outside and then I'm going to put the highlighter on the inner corner of my mobile lid. And then the highlighter, the glow plexion. So I'm putting the highlighter also on the other areas that I would normally highlight. So middle of the nose, middle of the head. I want to glow this up a bit because that is the only drawback with this foundation is that it can make you look flat. So this is adding the glow back. And as you can see here, I'm also going to use it on my eyes. So in the inner corner, this is a kind of liquid cream. So it's not going to go anywhere and pigment is pigment so um, highlighting under the brow and also I'm going to go onto the inner as I said the inner corner of my eye the inner part of the mobile lid um, so that I don't have to bother with eyeshadow and then a nice bold lipstick and I feel human no, nope, change my mind. I'm going to go for something quite natural looking so that it looks like I naturally look like this. So this is Hollywood Honey Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury. You'll notice I'm not filling my lips in this time. This is slightly darker than the lipstick that I'm going for, which is quite sheer. But I just want to outline the lips to make them look fuller. And then I'm going to use this lipstick, which I had just ordered and received from Colour by Maya. And this is Lip Love in Soul. Remember those lipsticks that I showed you? Now I'm going to merge the line and this together. And just to tie it together a little bit of that lip love barely noticeable but just to tie it together and that is my look and hopefully it looks like I've got barely any makeup on at all even though I have got maximum coverage by Estee Lauder okay thank you for joining me today um I will do one more thing Having said this was going to be short, I'm going to do one more thing to finish off this look. I'm not sure I've ever used this product on my channel, even though it's Charlotte Tilbury. And it is her Sculpting Gel. It's actually clear. So it's just enough to get the foundation out of my brows and give them a bit of a shape. I've got this in one of her magical mystery boxes. I don't think I'd have spent the money on a clear gel. When I mean, you can get clear gels a lot cheaper in the drugstore, but it is very good. And I like the brush. And that is definitely me done now. <laughs> See you all soon. Take care.